T.C. Davis. I thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I don't wish to pay tribute to the Honourable Member for West Dorset, but since he now seems to have installed himself as a kind of jobbing Prime Minister, could you tell me, Mr. Speaker, how it is that we actually hold him, how we actually hold him to account in this House? Order. Uh, order. Uh, I've known the... Order. I've known the Honourable General a long... Order, please. I've known the Honourable Gentleman a long time, and he's not disorderly, but there is something to be said for observing the precepts of May in terms of moderation and good humour in parliamentary debate. And the Right Honourable Gentleman, the Member of West Dorset, is always unfailingly courteous in his dealings with others. I think the question was largely rhetorical, but insofar as the Honourable Gentleman is seeking a response, I think what I'd say to him in all seriousness is that the effect of today, oh, Dad, I didn't require any help from the Right Honourable Gentleman, the member for Chelsea and Fulham. Remember the foggiest idea where to start? He was once a whip, he wasn't a very good whip, he'd be better. And if he wants to subject his right honourable friend, the member for West Dorset, to appropriate scrutiny, the opportunity is there for him to do so.